What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to convert or how to save a website as a PDF using an online tool. So like uh, one of my more popular videos where I show you how to convert um, PDF to PowerPoint with this online convert tool. Well, these guys also have save a website as PDF. And like I said before, they don't ask you to create an account. They don't ask for a subscription. They don't really ask for anything. They just let you use your tool, use their tool as much as you want. Um, if you do want to create an account and you know pay for some features, you can get faster download times. You can um, convert more files at a time. But honestly, I've never found the need to do that. It's the tool itself is good enough when it's free. So. Um, that's just my opinion and here is the website so if you want to find this on google i will drop the link to this in the description but just uh do website screenshot as pdf and then hit enter in the google search should be in one of the top uh top search results and it's www.onlines-convert.com click on that link and it'll bring you right to this page here so basically what this does is you put the website in here and it will save it as a pdf file so let's say i want to save lebron james's wikipedia as a pdf file all i got to do is just copy this link put it into the url here click add because you can do multiple at a time basically if you want to convert multiple websites into pdfs so this one's adding it and let me just show you what happens when this is done so no file was found at the provided link do you want to capture a, do you want to capture a screenshot of the link instead basically if you provide a link that has um, a pdf at it or like an image file um, it will convert that into a PDF, but if there's no file, if it's a, just a web page, it captures screenshots and converts that into the PDF. So just click capture screenshot here and we can do the same thing with Google. It'll do this one faster. So I just want to do two, show you guys what's going on. Click add. Should give me the same error for Google because there's no file here. Yeah. Give me a screenshot of Google, please. Okay, so this one's ready. You can see the file size and you can delete it if you don't want it anymore. Um, but yeah, now it's named lebronjames.pdf and we have Google on PDF. And this one's much smaller because you know, look at the difference in the websites. Yeah, anyways, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna click start. And yeah, just make sure you have this one selected. Scan pages will be images. So just select that one. Click start and just give it some time. The conversion status will start automatically and it should download automatically or no, sorry. It converts them and then you can click download after. So we have uh, LeBron James PDF. If I want to check this guy out, all I have to do is click download. Um, honestly, I'm just going to open it. I don't want to save this to my computer. <laughs> all right. There we go. Here is the PDF of the Wikipedia. And as you can see, that's exactly what I want. Gets the whole website here. And that's why that took longer. Look how long this is. <laughs> okay, and let me just check out Google too. This one might have not the exact thing we're looking for. Yeah, <laughs> just cause there's I think it looked, uh, it thinks I was in Germany when I put this into the website. Oh, cause this is a German, this is a German company. That's why that happened. So it was just like, welcome to Google. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. I could be wrong though. But anyways, um, that is how you convert a website into a PDF file real easily. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.